So Bo just told me I'm supposed to tell you, here's what I like about it. It's super simple and here's how you do it. But it was not super simple. And you guys know that we have like no skills. What are you standing next to? The most functional piece of woodworking in our house. Back when it was Everett's birthday, Andrew Couch, who helped mm -hmm. us build a lot of this stuff, he consulted me on how to make the banisters for our two sets of stairs. So I'm gonna show you right here that this is what Andrew's design was. It would have been, it, it is <laughs> super simple and easy and it would have gone in in no time. It is the day after Everett's big birthday party and we had lots of friends here and awesome that our great friends and master contractor carpenter, ah. Andrew Couch is back in the house and he's helping me brainstorm rails for our stairs. Don't worry, we've been sleeping up here with the kids. One, either Kelly or I have been sleeping up here with the kids so that in case they ever wake up in the middle of the night, we walk them down to go to the bathroom, but we need rails. So if you took a post, you take a four by four, you come to the bottom of this and then- Well, and I also noticed, like I know that you did this as fast yeah. as possible. It's a little wobbly sure, there. because you got no support. Exactly, so yeah. if we added a post somewhere there, even if I needed to redo this top uh -huh. board, then I would be interested in making, strengthening that a yeah. little bit. Yeah, maybe extending the top board to meet the edge of this post. Um, man, it's kind of tricky because you got to get out far enough to get past the edge of the sheetrock here, right? Mm -hmm. For your rail to come down. The same thing's gonna happen here. So this has all gotta be built out for your rail to sit on top of your post. Well, and that's where I think what we might just do for this is just do slats, whatever those things are called, vertical. Yeah. I was like, uh, yeah, to from, here. yep. And just kind of bring it down, unless you think that I'm gonna run into issues with that. Um, you so you that, could, you can take a two by four, turn it sideways yep. and have it run from here to here. And then, man, you really want a second one to connect the slats to. So you have a bottom one, you have your bottom stringer, and then you would need a top stringer. Um, let's think about it. I'm glad that you're not so figuring you could this just out take, right away. Cause it's taking, I'm like, I yeah. can't figure this out. It's hard. So here's the deal. Take one two by four sideways. So the three and a half inch runs like this, run it right here and then take another one and run down at an diagonal, a diagonal just at the edge of the steps. Okay. And then that'll give you something to screw your stringers in. You just screw them straight in to the face of that. Okay. So that'll give you your stringers. Yep. Right You're here. You're calling this a stringer. Yes. Okay. We well, got yeah, that's those. not a stringer. Sorry, stringers are actually down here, but your spindle. Spindle, okay. So your spindle. So that'll give you something to attach your spindles to coming down the steps. So this is just spindles. And then all you really have to worry about is your rail coming here. So if you notch a four by four, you could do it to where you add another two by four onto here to your height that you want your rail. Okay. So flat, same direction. Another two are. by four, okay. You just add one more two by four, and then at the bottom, you notch it and make sure that you're over. Notch the post? Notch the four by four post okay. on the bottom. So that it's covering over about right. two inches. Well, inch and a half. Inch you want to yeah. match the yeah. two by four here. So inch and a half. So that's going to leave. The four you, by four is three and a half. Uh huh. Okay. So it's going to leave you two inches coming down right here. So you have two inches thick yep. of a four by four coming down. Yep. Go ahead and sink that in. You can use regular three inch deck screws. It would be bigger if you got some like good lag screws. So do lag screws. Yeah, do like yep. four inch so lag screws. Do I need a pilot hole then? No, uh, if you use the skinny ones, if you use like the, the quarter inch diameter. Quarter inch a drill bit? No, quarter inch lag screw. Quarter inch lag screw, Yeah, okay. so it's not it's not very big around. Okay, it's, gotcha. It's not, you don't have to, that way you don't have to pilot them. Okay. But if you start to do it and it starts to split, then, then yeah. pilot it. But, I don't mind the extra work to do it, I just yeah. wanna do it. 
because your main support really isn't going to be that it's down into the floor. Your main support's going to be coming through the side of your That's four what I was by thinking. four, yeah. attaching it here. Yeah. That's going to give you your main support. So then on this piece that's overhanging, mm -hmm. come in the front with the toenail. Yep. Come in the back with the toenail. Okay. To secure it to this step. So then you're going to have your post and this post. So on this, I would run same thing. Take one four, one two by four. Yeah. On the here, coming down at an angle on the inside of these posts, and then on the top, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna do both on the top because you need a place. So to... do like one, uh -huh. one sideways, and then one flat. So your one sideways is gonna go straight up against this. Then when you put the flat one. Okay, you... one sideways that goes here. Uh -huh. Inside of the uh, of, the, of post. The, the post that's in there, uh -huh. and then coming up, and it's going to come up, and then and that's going to attach sideways to this other two by four. Uh -huh. Okay, sideways to here, and sideways to that post. So it'll, yep. be the, it'll give you your distance, same distance off of the. Is that a toe? Is that the, the footer? Like that's, that's the footer at down the bottom. Here. Okay, and you do, do the, the same thing up here. Yep. And then once you have that, all of your spindles will attach from the outside to those two boards. Are you making that that high? I would assume that the handle would be like yay high. Well, you Oops, gotta think. Sorry. So when you get down here, yeah, mm -hmm. you want it this high, but up here. Oh, you're right, gotcha, you're right, you're right. You're right. You're yeah, it. yeah, you're right, you're right. Once you have those two by fours and the spin and the spindles, then you can take your handrail, just do another two by four, yep. sitting flat. I might have to notch it on a little the top, bit. Yeah, and you'll want to notch it a little bit around that top. post okay. to get a nice, yep. so that it sits where you want it to. Yep. So you can kind of grab it on either side. Gotcha. So you can kind of grab over the top of it. So that was this, the easy contractor, like let's get it done type of design. I like most things. I just came in and made it better. Easier, better, better. Better. Not easier, but yes, it is better. Easy doesn't mean better. This little banister has very little significance if it's not in context. So out on the porch, we have a huge porch railing. The plan for the porch was always these cables. And I have no design skill, like whatsoever. Like if you've talked to my friends, you know the biggest hurdle for me moving into this house is like where do things go and what should they look like? I can keep humans alive, but building a house is hard. One and only thing that I thought would be cool is if these were the cables outside on our porch. And then when you walked in, you saw that same design element inside. That is the one and only thing that I was like, I feel good about this. And I feel good about this. So Bo just told me I'm supposed to tell you, here's what I like about it. It's super simple and here's how you do it. It's a super simple design. It's a super simple design, but it was not super simple. And you guys know that we have like no skills. So this took three days, but we learned so much that I really think we'll do the whole next one in about a day and a half. So this is what it looked like. We got these pieces from Amazon, the cable, and then the fasteners, the fasteners came in a kit, uh, well, yeah, but the cable came separate. So the boy's idea was for this, this railing to go horizontal and just be on top of this. And of course that would be faster and really cool. And then I saw someone's railing on, on Instagram and I thought, I like that, let's do that. So we already had the idea for these cables. But, you know, our cables compared to what we were seeing on a lot of sites or like people's home blogs, they have a much more expensive system. So this was a really affordable system for us that let us get this in. Now here's the tricky thing about this system. Because we use these turnbuckles, because we made loops with our cables, like if you can see that right here, it's a loop, then the ends are super duper sharp. So the other systems go like through through the four by four and they connect to like a fastener and the fastener means there's no frayed edges. So our solution for this is totally poor man's solution, but I think it's really gonna work. So if you ever had, um, did you guys ever have those, like have braces and then you had that little um, wax that you could put on the braces so they wouldn't chew up your mouth? We're gonna put that there. So we're gonna put wax on the end here um, temporarily.
what I had to do that I didn't get to film everything. So I showed you some footage of me building some of this stuff. Didn't get to do everything. Sorry about the dog. We had a post here that I had to wrap in order to, she wanted it to fit kind of like these posts to fit in here. I didn't do a very good job. I focused on making it a clean entry this way, which was stupid. I don't know what a, that was the complete backwards thing. I needed to focus on it from this side. It was dumb, so I'll try to figure out how to like fill in this gap. I'm not very happy about that. It's better than not having a banister, and it's one of my first like woodworking things that actually are gonna go into our house, and I will get better. So there we go, but it does look super cool, and it is very, very strong. I like it, it's cool. And then this is also a smaller one that's less of a eyesore, and once we get to the other side that I'll show you here soon, I will have already learned all of my mistakes on this side. This is the first pancake. Have you ever had a first pancake? Like when you make the pancake, it's never the best one, it's always the worst one. First pancake. I've been waiting for this for the last four years since we bought our property in 2015. I have a giant pile of free wood chips. I have been trying to locate a tree service in this area that would deliver wood chips. 